Hi everyone, I'm Smriti. Welcome to your happy hips and blissful back workout. If you work at a desk job or spend a lot of your time daily standing or sitting, use a computer or a smartphone for long periods of time daily, this is the perfect workout for you. This total body workout is designed to help you restore ease, mobility, and strength back to your hips and back so you can feel good from inside out. We'll work on your trunk stabilization, core control, and strength, which is all important part of your posture and impacts how you feel physically, mentally, and emotionally. You have the option to use small ball. Any size small ball will do. Perhaps you have a small kid's toy ball laying around the house. The ball provides an excellent way to provide extra support for the movement as it provides more feedback, connection, and release work. You, also, you can also use a pillow in place or do the whole workout without using any props and still get a great full body workout. You're going to love the way you feel, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's come around and face the front of the mat with your knees bent and your feet flat. Lengthen your spine up towards the ceiling. Let the shoulder blades glide down your back. Arms reach forward. Roll the pelvis back, articulating the spine back, vertebra by vertebra, articulating the spine all the way down, resting the head on the mat. Bend your knees in close towards your hips from here. Place the ball on top of your stomach and just hold the ball gently, nicely. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath in, filling up the lungs with fresh air. Imagine they're expanding like the ball, filling up with fresh air. And as you exhale, let the shoulders relax and imagine the lungs deflating all the air out, just like a ball. One more time, deep breath in, filling up the lungs, feeling the ribs stretch. And exhale, letting the body soften. And just coming back to your natural rhythm of breath. Notice the ball rise as you breathe in. And it falls and sinks in as the ball comes down. You exhale and let go of all the air. Breathing in and out at your natural pace. And scan your body from the very top of the head, just noticing how different parts of your body feels as you scan from the head. Noticing any areas of lightness or heaviness, stillness or restlessness, scanning through the neck and the shoulders. Just noting without any judgment through the chest and the back, the stomach, the hips, the thighs and knees. the calves and feet. Now you have a general idea of how your body feels. Set your sacred intention for yourself here today. How would you like to feel? What would you like to achieve? And take one more big breath in, nice and easy. And exhale as you've set that intention out into the world. And just letting go of any tension in your body, any worries that's holding you back. You're in the right place to work on those intentions and goals for yourself here today. And gently open your eyes and take the ball from here, bring it out to the side and lift the pelvis up. Place the ball underneath your sacrum. From here, legs are hip distance apart. So kind of roll around and see what's a good comfortable position for you. Everybody's different. And then hands rest by your side. Walk your feet closer towards your hips if you need to. Now automatically being on the ball challenges your balance, right? So from here, you feel that length of the tailbone on the ball, which is really good way of doing release work and releasing tension from our back. We often have from sitting for long periods of time. From here, we're gonna go ahead and do an imprint or a pelvic curl. So you're gonna slightly tilt the pelvis towards the stomach so you lengthen the back of the spine on the ball and then you bring the pelvis back into neutral. This feels really good. It feels like a mini massage for your tailbone and your sacrum, right? So it's very small but very effective. Sometimes 
Movements just need to be effective. They don't need to be big and flashy, right? Simple and feel good. One more time, stretch it there and then bring it back into neutral. From here, we're gonna go ahead and go into small circles. So we're gonna circle our pelvis on the ball. So go one way, we'll go both ways. So it doesn't matter if you've already, if you went right or left, we're gonna go one more time that way and then go the other way. Notice how good that feels on your back, right? I love using the ball. It's such a good way of going deeper into the muscles, the fascia and the joints to get good tension relief and also build strength in those deep muscles, which we all need. One more time, around and in. It makes funny noise sometimes, the ball, so <laughs> yours might too. All right, so from here, we're gonna go into our knee fold Keep your left leg down, bring your right leg into tabletop. Try to keep the pelvis still over the ball. It's okay if it moves a little bit, but your goal is to try to stabilize as much as you can. And now you have the option to bring the other leg into tabletop. If this is too wobbly, you can keep one leg down. Press your palms down. Your knees are right over the hips. The shins are parallel to the floor. And lower your right leg down and lift up. We're working on that trunk stability pelvic stability. Lower and lift as the leg moves in the hip socket. Being mindful that we're not holding on to the neck or the face to move the leg, right? So if you feel it going into your neck or your face, go smaller range of motion, right? So do the version that works best for you today. Let's do one more and up. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and bring both legs together and go for both of the legs going down. Now I'm not gonna go as far, and you might not either, because I'm working very hard on keeping the abdominals drawing in and up as the legs go up and down. And at the same time, we're pressing the trunk, the upper back gently down and the arms down to help you stabilize, right? And one more time. And up, now bring your right leg down and left leg down. From here, going into leg slide to do release work for our hips, for those happy hips we want. From here, you're gonna go ahead and slide your right leg out, flex the foot, and let that right hip stretch over the ball. Doesn't that feel so good? You're gonna hold that position if that feels good to you. If there's any tension on the hip too much, you can also bend your knees in a little bit more to release there. Take a full breath in. Rejuvenating breath out, letting go of any tension there, and then bring that heel back in. And one more time, you're gonna slide out, anchor the heel down, let the hip open up on that right side. You're doing awesome. And bring it in, let's go to the other side. So we're gonna glide that heel out, really feel that stretch through the left side here. I love how this feels on the hips. I hope you're feeling it too especially if you sit or stand for long periods of time. Let's bring it in and then reach up, reach out the heel on the mat, flex the foot, feel the stretch along the psoas, the thighs, those hip flexors need some TLC. And you're doing it. And then slide the heel back in, lift the pelvis up and then bring the ball out to the side, roll your spine back down and notice how automatically your back feels so much lighter and less tension, right? I love how that feels. Turn over sideways and push yourself up and place the ball behind you. Your legs are hip distance apart. From here, you're gonna place the ball on your mid or upper back. So find what you need to do here today, which feels the best. From here, your knees are bent, feet are flat. The ball makes a noise. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna keep the ball on our back and then place your hands behind your head. Your elbows are out in your peripheral vision. So it's not forward, but it's in peripheral, but not all the way back. So we're just going to find that good balance point here on the ball, working on that back extension. From here, gently open your upper back over the ball, vertebra by vertebra, reaching back, and then nod the chin to chest, exhale out all the air to come back up. Inhale, open the upper back, middle back. Everything opens up here, feels so good. And exhale. So this is a really good exercise to do if you spend a lot of time using the smartphone or the computer, we start to have rounded hunched back, right? So this is doing the opposite of that. 
which is opening it up, opening the chest, building strength and mobility, which impacts how we feel. And we're gonna stay here for three, two, one. From here, if you're okay with this position, you're gonna keep your head back. If you need to adjust the position, you can to make it more comfortable for you. So I had to scoot forward just a little bit. From your your head is gonna stay down, the arms come out to the side. If your neck feels uncomfortable, you can change the ball position or place a small pillow or rolled up towel underneath your head. And we're gonna bring the arms up right in front of the shoulders, but wide, and then open the arms out to the side. And in, you feel that opening through the scapula. And in, last two, last one. And up, now going into small arm circles, you're gonna bring your hands up towards your ears, making a letter Y, and arms go out to the side, around and in, circling up. Open, around and in. One more, open, around and in. Nod the chin to chest, exhale out all of the air. From here, go ahead and grab the ball and come up to seated for spine twist. From here, Bring your feet together and knees are bent, sitting up tall, right on top of your hips. If you're not able to sit on your bottom, you can also put a rolled up towel if it's your hips that's bothering you today. So from here, you're gonna reach your arms forward and straight. Sit up tall, press your hips down and bring the arms up towards the ceiling so it's right over your head. And twist and rotate towards me. Bend the elbows and bring the ball right in front of your chest. And you're gonna do a small press here and release. Lift up, center, lower, and up, and twist and rotate. Lower, press the ball, lift the ball, and center. We're just gonna go twist to the other side. And lower, press, release, up, Center, twist, lower, press, lift up, center, and lower the ball down for rolling like a ball. From here, go ahead and scoot to the front of the mat. Place the ball between the two ankles, sitting right on your sacrum. From here, place your hands right outside of your ankles or right above. Find that balance point here. Nod your chin towards your chest, round the spine without moving back yet. So if this is where you're at today, you're shaking a lot already, you can just hold this position. From here, if you're looking for more, we're gonna roll down onto just our shoulders to come up. So we're maintaining the shape of the ball with our spine, rolling down and coming right back up and hold. Imagine you're, you're a shape of a ball, so you are the ball. The goal of this exercise is to massage the spine and the muscles, you're articulating, loosening up any tension in your back. Roll up and down. Inhale, exhale to come up. Up and lift. Two more like that. Up and balance, beautifully done. Go ahead and bring the ball into your hand. Bring the hands right in front of you, arms reach forward, holding the ball. Rolling back down, bone by bone, all the way back for swan. Turn over onto your stomach. Place the ball in the middle of the mat and place your hands on the outside of your ball here. So we're gonna start with the legs hip distance apart or a little wider if you need that for your hips or your back. I do today. So from here, press the ball down on the ball and glide the scapula down your back. You're gonna bring the ball slightly towards you because the back is lifting up and then exhale to lower your body back down. Inhale, grow the breath, glide, slide the scapula as you lift the chest, neck, and the head, and exhale to lower back down. Remember, you're pressing the hips down to help you stabilize as you arch from the upper back, and exhale to lower. One more time like that. Lift and hold. Three, two, one and lower down. Going into a swimming variation here with the ball today. So you're gonna place your hand on the ball still. The ball is helping you challenge that balance. From here, you're gonna bring your right leg up and left leg stays down and then you switch and switch. Inhale and exhale at your own pace and swim there. Building strength in those glutes 
and strengthen the back, right? So the back and the glutes working together to make strong, mobile posture. And lower everything back down. Good job, you guys. Let's press back into a rest pose here. Tuck your toes under, bring the ball back with you. You can keep your hands on the ball as you press the hips back. Breathe here. One more time. Deep breath in. And full breath out. Walk your hands back towards your knees. And we're gonna go into our leg pull front with our ab series combined. So this is a fun one. We're gonna bring the two exercises together and add a little challenge to your body so you can work on creating those happy, blissful bodies, all right? So that includes building strength, mobility, and releasing tension, right? So we're gonna come into our leg pull front prep position. From here, your wrist is underneath your shoulders, kneecaps right underneath your hips. From here, you're gonna take the ball and then slide the one leg out and find where your plank position is going to be. So you kind of have to, you can start with the ball right underneath the foot and then walk it out and find out what that position will be right there. So one hand is still there and both hands are still there, <laughs> other knee is still there. And from there, you're gonna go ahead and walk the other leg back. So you're in that kneeling position, you just straighten. Now, if this is too much for your wrist, you can come onto your forearm and do the same thing. So from here, you're gonna bend the knee. I gotta glide that ball back <laughs> into your ab series. This is just like single leg stretch and glide it out. Pull in and reach out. One more like this and out. Now we're gonna add a little bit more. This time we're gonna bend it in as you round the spine, stretching the back. And as you press out, you're going to extend the upper back up, lower the hips slightly, opening the hips and round the back. Dome the spine as you bring the ball towards you. Straighten the leg, head comes in line with the spine. Then add that upper back arch, hip extension. One more time, bend it in and press it out. Breathe and now bring it back into neutral and lower that leg down. Good job, you guys. Let's go to the other side. So same thing, find your wrist alignment with your shoulder, kneecaps underneath the hip, then take the ball underneath the foot that you're going to move and then walk that leg out. So find a good comfortable position for you. I'm already shaking, I hope you are too. That ball is so good, okay. From here, you're gonna walk the other leg back. So you're simply tucking your toes under and reaching back, your head is in line with your spine. Press the palm into the mat or the ground. From here, you're gonna bend the knee in and pressing out. Head is in line with your spine, you're strong, you can do this. And in now, we're adding the rounded spine. You can add this or keep it where you were earlier. Oh, I forgot to add this extension. So let's go ahead and do that. Bend it in, rounding the spine and extend the upper back up as you lower the hips. Pull in round and out. One more like that. And out, good. Go ahead and bend that knee down. Take the ball off your leg. Turn around to face forward and place the ball between, between the two ankles. Legs reach forward rolling down vertebra by vertebra all the way down for rollover prep. Straighten the legs up towards the ceiling. Let's scoot forward a little bit. And then arms are reaching long by your side. Now if your legs are shaking like mine, know that the muscles are working hard, you're making progress. You can also bend your knees to release any tension there. So we're gonna just start with rollover prep here. So keep it bent or straight. And we're just gonna do lift of the pelvis up and over towards our upper body. From here, lift and lower. So you're mindful pressing the ribs down as you just lift the pelvis and the arms press down. Working on that core control and stabilization. Last one. All right guys, now we're gonna do the full version here. So you can stay with that one or to progress, you're gonna go into the full version. Press the legs into the ball. From here, you're gonna lift the legs up and over 
flex the toes and articulate the spine down. Vertebra by vertebra, massaging the back. So good for releasing tension on the back. And point the toes, lift up and over, flex the foot. Reach the hips away from the ribs as you unwind the spine. Bone by bone by bone. Breathe here and lift up. Roll down. Create space, create mobility, and ease back into your body. Bend the knees in and hug your legs in. Great job, you guys. Take the ball out and lift the pelvis up towards the ceiling. So your legs are about hip distance apart. Lifting the pelvis up, you're gonna place the ball underneath your sacrum. And legs are hip distance apart. Right hands can be to the side or into a little V here. Make sure you're stable on that ball first. From here, bring the right leg into tabletop and left leg into tabletop, going into scissors. So you're gonna extend your right leg up, left leg up. So just being in this position already challenges your whole core, right? The abdominals are naturally drawing in, connecting with your transverse abdominus, your deep abdominal muscles. Right leg goes down, the left leg comes up towards your upper body and you meet in the middle and you switch. How still can you stay as you move the legs and switch? I love this exercise for my upper back as well because I feel like I'm getting a massage there as well as my back as the legs move and breathe. Blissful, happy moves for your body, mind, and soul. Imagine I'm pulling the legs away from your hips, creating length and switch, switch. Last four, three, two, one, bring both legs up right to the center, so you're in this 90 degree, right over the ball, going into helicopter from here. You're gonna bring your right leg down towards the ground, so you're as far as you can go while keeping that pelvis still, ball still, and you're gonna bring the legs apart, so the right leg, or the left leg is gonna go out to the side, away from me as the, your right leg comes towards me. So making a circle, right? And then switch, right leg comes the other way, left leg comes the other way. So your, each leg is making part of a circle and together it's a whole circle. Around, switching into the other direction. Keep breathing, make sure you're not holding on to your breath, balancing over that ball, circling out, around and in. Really good for hip mobility. Open, around, and in. One more time. Open, around, and in. Hold there. Bend both knees in and lower down. Lift the pelvis up and roll the spine down. And notice how much better your back feels, right? It's like it's opened up and it's lightened up. It feels so much better. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and bring the ball to the side for a moment. Keep it handy, bring both arms up towards the ceiling and both legs on the mat, going into a roll up. From here, arms reach up, nod the chin to chest, press the legs down, roll up and exhale, peel up and over. Stack your spine back up, all the way up. From here, you're gonna cross your leg over, press onto the ground, and we're gonna stand up for a roll down. Press your feet down and see if you can, without using your hand, lift yourself up. If you need to use your hand, it's perfectly fine. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and keep the ball handy nearby, and then bring your legs about hip distance apart for a roll down. Take the ball, let's use the ball while we have it. All right, so they go in between the two legs, right by the ankles, stand tall, arms rest by your side, shoulders over the hips, maintaining that beautiful posture, nod the chin to chest, actively press the ball into your center line and roll the spine down, vertebra by vertebra, let it go of any tension as you roll down, 
and then stack your spine back up piece by piece, lengthening. Imagine you're getting taller as you stand up. Nod the chin to chest, press the ball with your inner thighs as you roll down with your inner calves and stack the spine back up piece by piece, lifting the rib cage off the hips one more time, articulating the spine. So good for your back. And then stack back up, all the way back up. Now going into our little swing. So this is a little bit more for the hips and the glutes. You can put the ball aside for now and bring your legs about hip distance apart from here. So check down, heels are right underneath the hip socket. From here, you're gonna bring the arms up as you swing your arms forward and back. So hinge the hip back. We're focusing on the hips today as well, right? Hinging back and back. Now I want you to pretend you're a ball, so you're gonna start bouncing. So just lifting up into your toes if you can. Whoop, I almost fell forward. And up and back. So let's make it fun. A ball is a toy, so let's pretend we're the ball. We're bouncing, we're feeling youthful, joyful. You can go onto your toes or just bounce where you are. Just have fun with it, right? Don't take yourself too seriously. And back, and one more time, lift up and press back. All right, let's come back down onto the ground. From here, come back onto your mat. Legs are hip distance apart and roll down vertebra by vertebra, hands on the mat, bending your knees, lower your hips down, legs are hip distance apart, and roll back down, all the way down. Rest your hands by your side, legs can be wherever they feel more comfortable. So if you wanna keep it hip distance apart here, you can, or straighten the legs out. And rest the hands by your side, open the palms up towards the ceiling, let your hips be relaxed and happy, let your back be blissful and open, taking big breath in, filling up the lungs with fresh air, energy, and calm. And as you exhale, feeling that deep connection with your body, noticing how your body's feeling, noticing your points of contact that you're present, as you're present here. So often we're holding on to tension or stress in different parts of our body, like the hips, the back, the chest, or the stomach. And this is a great opportunity to connect with your body, notice how your body is doing, and let go of any unnecessary stress and worry. Let it just float off your body wherever you feel that. Let it just release and melt away feeling lighter, stronger, happier, and more focused. Going into our relaxation scan here, scanning the body from the very top of the head, and let your eyelids soften, jawline relax, neck melts, shoulders feel light, letting go of any worries or weight on your shoulder, let it just go all the way down onto your chest. Feel the chest soften and relax. The arms feel lighter. The wrist feels soft. The back feels supple and vibrant. The stomach feels calm. The hips feel open. The thighs feel light. The calves feel relaxed. The feet are relaxed. Your whole body is relaxed, happy, and feeling blissful. Just take this moment to notice how good you feel. Taking a big breath in, big breath out. Coming back to that intention you started with at the beginning of the class and congratulate yourself. Gently open your eyes, bend your knees in, roll over onto the side, use your arms to lift yourself up, come up to seated, sit up tall,
smile and congratulations, you did it. You should be so proud of yourself. You completed the happy hips and blissful back workout. I hope you're feeling much better than when you first started. Hopefully your back is feeling much better and so are your hips and you're feeling good from inside out. Keep up the great progress you've got going and I'll see you back here on your mat very soon. Thank you for sharing your time and energy with me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Help others discover our community and support Pilates Nest. And I'll see you in the next video.